These instructions will cover the assembly for all of Quick Goals Deluxe European Club soccer goals. The tools needed to complete assembly are a utility knife, a 9 16th inch wrench, a half inch wrench, a ratchet with a half inch and a 9 16th inch socket. Unpack all of the parts and check for any damage which may have occurred during shipping. If damage has occurred, notify the trucking company immediately. Remove all cardboard or packaging immediately as wet or damp packaging may damage the contents. Please note that the components may be packaged in one or more additional boxes. Lay out all of the parts. Contents include two posts, two rails, two base bars, and two backstays. Four rail corners, two post corners. Front post braces, ground anchors, net, channel spacers, hardware pack, net support strap, and net clips. Please note anchor styles vary per goal size. Start by laying out one rail, left and right posts, and rail corners. Insert one square nut followed by one channel spacer into the rail and front post. Insert one square nut into the rail corner. Attach using a 3 8 inch hex bolt, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch flat washer. Press the joints firmly together before tightening. Repeat this process for the other side. Insert a channel spacer into the front post of the assembly, followed by inserting the post corner into the rail. Attach using a 3 8 inch hex bolt, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch flat washer. Please note that the two smallest Deluxe European Club goals do not require the front post braces. Be sure to leave the post brace bolts loose, but tighten all others. Repeat this process for the other side. The base of the Deluxe European Club goal is assembled in the same manner, except no square nuts are required. Insert a channel spacer into the base bar and rail and join together using the rail corner. Attach using a 3 8 inch hex bolt, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch flat washer. Press the joints firmly together before tightening. Repeat this process for the other side. If installing optional wheels, part 10B410, insert threaded channel spacers from the wheel option package in each base. To prevent the threaded channel spacer from falling out during assembly, temporarily insert a 3 8 inch hex bolt into the channel spacer. With a minimum of two people, lift the assembled bases and insert into the assembled posts. Be sure connections are pressed firmly together before tightening bolts. Be sure to tighten bolts on each post brace. Repeat this process for the other side. Join the backstay brace to the backstay using a 3 8 inch hex bolt, a 3 8 inch flat washer, and a 3 8 inch lock nut. Be sure not to over tighten, as over tightening can cause damage. Attach the eye bolt using a 5 16 inch flat washer and a 5 16 inch lock nut. Repeat this process for the other side. Lay the backstays on the goal as shown. Attach the backstays to the goals by connecting them to the corresponding square nuts on the crossbar, corner, and front post using a 3 8 inch hex bolt, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch flat washer.
Repeat this process for the other side. With the goal on its face, lay out the net inside the goal frame as shown. Connect the quick goal net support strap to the eye bolts on both backstays. Pull the strap through the clip until it's taut and put the remainder of the strap through the eye bolt and clip. With the goal on its face, lay out the net with the top corner tags on the net at the location shown. Attach the net to the goal frame with the quick lock net clips. Quick goal recommends placing the clips a minimum of 3 to 4 mesh squares apart. After the net is attached to the face of the goal frame, flip the goal on its base and finish attaching the net to the goal frame. For anchoring information, please refer to your instruction manual.